When you're on an alien world that's filled to the brim with more bugs than you can possibly poke a stick at, do you A. Nope the fuck right out of there like a sane and rational human being, B. Nuke the place from orbit, or do you C. Send ground troops to get slaughtered and to stir up the hornet's nest? If you answered B, you are a sane and rational human being, and the US government might just have a job for you. For those that pick C, Congratulations! Infested Planet also has a job for you. You'd be starting off with a group of five soldiers with your job title being pretty much a glorified exterminator, and you'll be going along smoking the aliens out from their varied hives. So welcome, soldier! I hope to see you with your limbs intact after your foray into 2D Starship Troopers. I have a confession to make. In my previous video, I was actually far keener to play Infested Planet than I was Dungeon of the Endless. It got so bad that I was literally spending hours upon hours upon hours playing Infested Planet rather than making the damn video, hence why I was a bit late. It was simply taking the squad tactics I was experiencing in Dungeon of the Endless and it spiced it up with this idea where both you and the enemy ramp up how powerful you are as the game progresses. And this... This is the satisfaction I was craving in Dungeon the Endless, this, this orgasm after a long hard session of congress that leaves you believing that humans can, in fact, make it to Mars one day. To get into details though, we've actually got to explain the combat first, which, while it does seem a bit shallow on the surface, is actually kind of a bit more like a game of rock, paper, scissors that expands to include Spock and a lizard. This is because the game is centred around control points, and... As you capture more of these control points, you gain more resources to spend on upgrades, buildings, and tech. But the bugs, understandably, are not too happy about you destroying their hives and taking their points, and thus will respond with their own mutations which function quite similarly to your upgrades. Since all these mutations and upgrades act as counters for one another, you end up with this constantly re-evaluating the battle situation where you're constantly swapping out tech as others become more effective to counter the ever-increasing amount of mutations the enemy is employing. Jeez, this game's actually sound a bit more like a cancer ward for this talk of mutation. You see what I mean by ramping up an escalation though? The better you do, the more the enemy responds and the more you need to compensate as a result, which ends in these Epic battles where your troops are blasting through waves in the most horrendously powerful bugs that were just a few moments ago, kicking your ass. The game thus feels relevant at every stage, like you're capable of beating these insurmountable odds that keep getting heaped on top of you, despite how simple the game can feel. I mean, really, look at the game objectively. It's lines of enemies that you defeat by attack moving troops to set points where they spawn from. Also, the campaign story is not the most complex either. Yet despite this, despite how simple controlling the game can feel, Infested Planet makes it a joy to play with. Almost as good as playing with yourself, in fact. Now, while the tactics and gameplay will keep you entertained for hours, does this eye and ear candy hold up to today's bug squishing standards? Uh, here's a hint. Not at all. When I think of top-down alien killing in the most epic fashion, I don't think of Infested Planet as its assets are too... they're too simple, they're too lacking in visceral impact. In fact, it actually kind of feels more like a heavily polished Flash game. Look at modern examples. Helldivers. A similar in-premise game with your squad taking on hordes of enemies. Its carnage and its pure spectacle of demolishing waves of enemies is fantastic! It leaves you feeling powerful. This isn't to say, though, that Infested Planet is a bad game to experience, it's just... When we look at a lot of modern examples, there's so many other games that hold the bar higher in this regard. All in all, though, you can guess very easily that I've had a blast while playing Infested Planet. If it was updated with some glorious graphics, some tunes, and some visceral sound effects, it could easily be in my top 10 games list. As it stands though, it's a solid recommendation from me for anyone who doesn't despise top-down tactics, as it's well built with fantastic gameplay and it feels truly challenging and also rewarding to conquer. 
If you are looking for that visceral godly carnage in your bug stopping efforts though, an easy recommendation that I mentioned just a bit before is Helldivers, an often hard as fucking nails twin stick shooter that feels almost orgasmic to play, with every bug stomped, every mech called, every ally squished feeling impactful and devastating. For those of you who are looking for more strategy and creativity in your alien stomping efforts though, Factorio will scratch that itch easily. Factorio is basically the ultimate base defense game, where you establish a massive factory, then wall it off and put turrets all around it to stop the massive unending alien tides who are not too happy that you're destroying the world with pollution. In fact, it's actually a bit like Donald Trump Simulator, you gotta build that wall. <laughs> but whatever your tastes are, I hope that you've taken something away from this video. If you want to show some appreciation, some likes, comments, and subscriptions are good ways of doing so. Even if you don't want to show me love though, I'd like to say thank you regardless for watching my video. And my name is Panda, and I hope to see you next time at the very least. You know, I've just realised that for a series that's called Never Pandering, I'm actually pandering a lot with so many games that I actually like. So, Jesus, I need to do something about that. I might lose my credentials. Might might have to call myself kind of pandering. Jesus, perish the thought. Anyways, I look forward to some potentially more negative geared videos in the future. <laughs>